Good day and welcome to our short explanation of Microsoft Junk Mail, how to move things in and out of it, but more specifically how to flag things so they don't go in and out of it. And this is the result of a good friend of ours, a client of ours, asking me this question. Emails keep landing in junk mail. Gah! Technical question. Is there any way to get around that? How do you do that? Well, not very hard. This is new Outlook, by the way. If it's a little different from what you're seeing, just wait a minute because we'll show you old Outlook. We're recording it this way because we expect this video to be useful for a few years and the outlook that you're using is probably the old version that's only going to be around for another few months. So we'll get to your version in just a minute if this isn't what yours looks like. Okay, so let's get to it. So in here I've got a whole pile of junk mail and say there was something in here I wanted to get out of junk mail. Well, I could just click on this one or any of these and drag it to my inbox, but I, I want to stop it from going here in the future. It's not a problem. Click the cog in the top right hand corner, go to view all Outlook settings, and then click on mail, and then click on junk mail, junk email. And you can see here, there's your block senders, your safe senders, so on and so forth. You can go through and edit these, remove, add, whatever you would like. Now let's show you what this looks like in webmail, in case you're doing it through a browser. And then we'll come back and we'll do this in new in old Outlook. Okay, so this is Outlook on the web. And again, if you click the cog in the top right hand corner, view all Outlook settings, you'll find the same thing under mail. You'll see junk mail looks exactly the same because it is the same. Okay, now I'm gonna flip my Outlook back to the old Outlook and show you how to make the same changes in the older Outlook. All right, here's old Outlook. And in old Outlook, you can click the junk drop down in the top left hand corner here on the home tab and you can block people, you can unblock people. Now there's something here called never block sender and never block sender's domain. Let me just explain the difference. Never block sender is never block email from that specific email address, which is great when you're dealing with people that are on Gmail or Yahoo or AOL for that matter, or Outlook.com, whatever, those generic sites that are using those email addresses. But not really great if you're dealing with a company that you want to whitelist everybody, you want to approve everybody. So for instance, my company is uartech.ca, and if you trust me, you probably trust everybody in the company, and that is where you'd use never block the sender's domain. That'll let, let everybody through from, well, using the, at uartech or whatever domain you've got. Okay, now, let's look at junk mail options. This is the old way. There's your safe senders list, and you can edit, uh, add, remove as you see fit. Uh, and there are your block centers, same thing. If there's somebody in here that, sh that you block that you shouldn't, just click on them and remove them. Hey, we'd really appreciate it if, if you would leave a comment below. If we don't get back to you, somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. And please click like if you found this useful. Subscribes also always appreciated. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.